Hey guys, welcome back to A Nice Kid, and I wanted to share with you, in addition to my Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles uh, collection. Okay, so when I was a kid, I had this, the Turtle Party Wagon, as I call it, or the Turtle Vans, I called it. And um, I used to love this, it was one of my favourite toys, and we threw it out because it got broken. And uh, I was on eBay last week. And it's for, oh, let's try it out, because it's been quite expensive when I've seen it in the past. There was a bid on this, starting bid £15 for the turtle van. Uh, the turtle skateboard thing, I can't remember exactly what it's called. And some action figures, we're actually inside this, which I'll show you in a minute. And I thought, okay, it looks in pretty good condition. It's missing some of the accessories that would go onto the side. However, I've got them in the attic, because even though we threw the van out... We didn't throw all the accessories out, so that helped. And it turns out I was the only bidder, so I got all this for £15, so I'm quite happy. Um, let's have a look at this little skateboard first. I never had this, but I'm pretty sure my friend did. At least I don't think I had it. So you got this, this turtle sticker there. Um, I'm not quite sure. Did this like fire pizzas or something? Um, some kind of contraption, did, didn't it? So you kind of got like this foot stomper with that and like knock you out of the way. Or does that go underneath? Anyway, it is what it is. It's pretty cool. It's got like a little turbine on the back. Pretty good condition. I'm not sure what that is for. I'll do some more research on that. But yeah, I'm sure my friend had that. And then here is the turtle van. Foot stinks, I remember that sticker well. <laughs> Boot the foot. That's really English language is a bit daft in it. Boot the foot. Boot. Sh surely it should be foot. Boot the foot. Or butt the foot. Uh, you got a turtle stick on the front. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> on the other side then, it's party time. Slam, bam, pow, conk. <laughs> Okie dokie. And on the back, you've got a sticker of the engine. This is awesome. Look how perfect condition this as well. Just look at it go. Amazing. Simple things, eh? Of course, this, there you go. <laughs> um, the door, the lid by here, it's got this little orange clip on it. So when you close the door, it will only stay shut if um, that's down. Because in the eBay description, they wrote that the door's a bit loose. But I don't think they realised that it's supposed to be like that. So you'd open that up, you'd have a turtle sitting on here. Let's get this guy. He's not going to sit down, is he, Raphael? He always was a moody turtle. Anyway, so yeah, you kind of have like Raphael on the door, maybe shooting some pizzas or turtles. Uh, turtles, a shredder in the foot, the foot. And yeah, this is cool. So inside then you could actually put like figures in the driving seat. So we could put Michelangelo down there. And then this was a little uh, kind of shield. There you go. Here he is. He's not, got his eyes on the road, that's dangerous driving. And his weapon, look at it, that's pretty shocking condition there. Eh? So obviously that looks like he's been chewed by a dog, maybe the kid itself. Um, it should be nunchucks, I think. But I'm not bothered with that, all the figures. I'm just happy to have this back. People thinking, what, you're 32 years old, you know, and you still like toys? Well, no, I don't play with toys, but I collect them because they had such an impact on me in my childhood. Hold such great memories. Uh, the, the, the fun... The imagination, how creative I got, the stories I used to come up with, and playing with my friends as well. Such good memories, because you don't do that these days. You just go to the cinema, you go to the pub, you go on holiday. Being an adult is great, but you know. Now, so I didn't really need the figures, because I've got Raphael, I've got Michelangelo. I've never had an April figure, but this has intrigued me, because this is not just an April figure. It's some kind of cheetah figure, like April becoming turned into a cheetah. Now, let me know, guys, please, in the comments below if this was an episode, because I cannot remember April turning into a cheer. Oh, to be honest, it was that long ago. I can't remember a lot. Let's see. I think, does she, like, transform completely into a cheetah? I'm going to have a quick go of these guys, and I shall report back. 
Okay, so the only thing I've managed to do with this, uh, in her upper arms by there, she's got human arms, which you can then rotate and switch around with these cheetah arms. I hope I'm saying, I hope it is like a cheetah or some kind of leopard or something. So we've got panels by here, which will show her legs, the feet down there as well. Um, now, there's a button on the back here, or it looks like that used to be something, and you press it, but I think it's snapped off. I've tried manipulating it, but I can't see. Hang on, what that comes back? Oh, no. Aha! Okay, so I found an actual head. Here we go. So, this was quite stuck. This little jetpack thing on the back, or the backpack, opens up. And I imagine then you can twist this around, and then you can uh, have human apple as well. Looks a bit scary, doesn't it? So, this is correct then. We just, here you go. Flip that around like that. Put it back. And then we have April, half April, half cheetah. There you go, my first April figure. So that's cool. So she does, <laughs> there's got to be some kind of episode based on this, surely. Um, in the eBay description as well, the person selling it couldn't figure out how to get a head back. Well, there you go. I saw there was like a little, uh, like, lever by there. And there was bolts and that's what I'm saying. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Really happy to have the turtle van back, as well as this new skateboard, April. And obviously I don't need Raphael and Michelangelo, but they can go in the attic for now. You don't look very happy that I said that. Uh, the inside could do a bit of a clean but after all these years this is pretty mint condition is awesome right guys thank you for watching oh that's what I haven't told you yet when I was a kid right this comes off the lid come here okay so the lid comes off and what I used to do I used to pretend this is like kind of like some kind of surfing board or something so I turn it upside down then I would take my turtles, and this would be kind of like an extra, if you like, I don't know, maybe going down hill, snow or something like that, it would be awesome to ski on. Yeah, that's something I used to do. So the turtle van was not just a van, it was many things. The imagination we had as kids. So yeah, there you go. And I shall put this back together. Okay guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Let me know um, below if you had a turtle van. And if you just you used to do what I used to do. Who knows? Am I just weird? Anyway. Remember, foot stinks. Uh, when I was a kid, I always thought that wasn't... I didn't know what it meant, that sticker. I always thought, oh, people's feet smell. Because they do. That's what I thought that was all about. But apparently it's about, obviously, uh, Shredder's Foot Clan. So you go guys, thank you for watching and let me know what you think and if you had it, etc. I just saw, I said that then I'm going off on a tangent. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.